an important returning feature in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is the limit to your inventory, including melee weapons, bows, and shields. The only way to increase your inventory in Breath of the Wild was by finding collectible Korok seeds and giving them to a character named Hestu. And Tears of the Kingdom is no different. Odds are is that you may have stumbled across a Korok as early as the Great Sky Island, as they can be found hiding in numerous spots, under rocks, by sparkling leaf trails, or they may ask you to help move them to find a friend. Finding or helping each one will reward you with a Korok seed, or two if you help the ones that need moving. Once you've collected a few, you'll need to find someone who can make use of them. There's a big old tree fairy named Hestu who needs them to fill his magical maracas. Luckily, he's once again located not too far away from where your adventure will begin on the surface of Hyrule. Once you're told to investigate regional phenomena in the four corners of the land, you'll more than likely be guided towards Rito Village past the Hyrule Ridge to the northwest. Taking the main road west from Lookout Landing should put you towards New Serene Stable, a major location in the Hyrule Ridge. That will also point you towards the Lindor's Brow Skyview Tower in the distance. By trekking up the hill from the stable towards the tower, you should spot the oversized Korok being menaced by a pair of angry trees. Defeat them and you'll be able to start trading Korok seeds in exchange for expanding your weapon, bow, and shield inventory, which is just as important in Tears of the Kingdom as it was in the previous game. Just like last time, however, you'll only be able to give him a few Korok seeds before he runs off. But luckily, his next appearance won't be too far away. He'll talk about traveling east to where a lot of people are, and you've actually already been there. Look out landing. Once you return to the main base in central Hyrule, you can find him off in a corner just past the merchant stall by a large tree on the southeast corner of the fort. Continuing where you left off, you can trade in many more Korok seeds you find to expand your inventory. Just remember, while he'll start off only needing one, then two, then three seeds to keep expanding each section, the amount will begin to drastically increase over time. Hestu will continue to stay at Lookout Landing for quite some time, but he may eventually move on to a final location, but not before you uncover a lot more of the main story so he shouldn't vanish until you find this particular spot. And that should help you get started on the very crucial task of increasing your inventory slots. For more on Tears of the Kingdom, make sure to head on over to IGN.com to check out our growing wiki and interactive map. And of course, for everything else video games, stick with IGN.